My name is Jim Armagas, and I'm with Nimble. I'm your SAP security team lead and guru. So I'm often asked uh, what happens when an org level is uh, changed at the field level in a role, and you're no longer able to work within the organizational level button in order to make the changes. So I went ahead and created a test role here to show you exactly what can happen with that. I've added two T codes to it, MM01 and XD01. These two particular T codes do have, in fact, company code values of, uh, associated with them. I'll show you that right here. Our field level is uh, under object F underscore KNA1 underscore BUK, as well as M underscore mate underscore BUK. Both of these fields here are actually controlled through the organizational level button up here. As you can see right here, if I make a change, such as adding 0111 to the company code, you'll see that both of these fields have actually changed. I'll go ahead and make this change back. We'll go ahead and save this by clicking on the Save button, and you'll see that these two objects have changed again. Oftentimes what a, an inexperienced SAP security person would do is go in uh, after looking at an SU-53 and finding out that they need to add, say, company code 0002 to the role for F underscore KNA1 underscore BUK. A lot of times they'll come in here and just double click on the object and in the field and it'll pop up this window saying, hey, wait a minute, you need to take a look and read this. More often than not, most people just go ahead and click on through this. What this actually is telling you is if you want to maintain the organizational level at the org level button, don't do this. So you would actually click on the X to do the, to get rid of this window. However, a lot of people go ahead and click on the check mark, bring up the new window, add in the new company code that they need, and notice up here it made a change to only this field up here and did not add 0002 down here to the M mate BUK. Well, this can be good and this can be bad. More often than not, it's not a good thing. So you need to figure out what you can do in order to get this to work properly again. If I were to go in here to the org level, you'd say, oh, well, if I just add 0002 up here and save it, yep, it actually does look, in fact, like I, I fixed this. However, if later on I need to make another change and I need to add another company code, we'll say 0003, we save this, you'll notice that only this object down here has been changed while this object up here has not been changed. So how do we fix that? How do we reassociate the connection between this field and the organizational level field? Well, it's actually fairly easy to do. You're going to go ahead and delete this object altogether and then manually re-add it. So make sure that you write down the object that you're going to be deleting. You'll go ahead and click on the change button and click on delete. You're manually deleting this whole entire object. Now we're going to manually re-add it. So we're going to type in F underscore KNA1 underscore BUK. We'll accept that and notice that this object came back into the system. When we expand this, you'll also notice that all of the org level is actually in there at this point in time. The nice thing about this is if I needed to go add another new company code, you'll notice that it actually appears in both areas. So this is a great way for you to be able to go back and fix your organ organizational level button connections with all of your objects. This has been Jim with Nimble. If you have any questions, please send us an email.